Hey guys, Blue Yoshi here, and welcome back to Super Mario Galaxy! Last time, we fought King Caliente in a spicy return in Bowser Jr.'s Lava Reactor. Today, we are finally going back up to the top of the Comet Observatory, and we are doing yet another dome. Yes, that's right, guys, we still have a little more left to go in this game. We actually do have a few galaxies left to go. Uh, however, today, we are not actually going to that dome. Instead, we are going to a dome that's not actually a dome. It's, a, it's actually quite interesting how it works. But, as you guys may recall from episode 24, we do have a little secret passageway right here that we can kind of use just a teleport right here. So, let's see what it is. As you can see from our last episode, we opened this little gateway over here, or should I say teleporter. And as we step on this right here, as you can see, it will take us to the gateway. This gateway is, well, it's kind of dome. It's kind of. I guess, I guess you'll see. It's kind of hard to explain, but yeah. So today we are going to be doing all the stars in the gateway, which is not very many. However... Stay tuned because we have a very interesting thing coming our way that's definitely going to be really fun to play around with. Alright, so let's go in and see what the gate has to offer. That's right, guys. It's actually the first place that we found in this game. If you guys have watched ever since episode one, which is not in a lot of you, however, it was a while ago, and you can see right here that, yeah, it's exactly that same place, and we can talk to Rosalina just as we did back then. However, this is not just the same thing in the fact that we actually have things to do here. It's not just a Balin Wasteland of doing absolutely nothing. There actually is stars to collect here, or should I say a star. So, let's go walk up to Rosalina and see what she has to say to us. All right. This planet. It's very really dear to me. I looked forward to visiting this planet with the Lumas every 100 years. The Luma that has been traveling, you may grow up to become a star someday. Some Lumas become planets, some become comets, and a few become power stars. I'm traveling with them while they look for a place to be reborn. But I never thought all of this would happen. Wow! Mama must really trust you. Well, how about this? If you grab all 100 purple coins here, then you'll own my dress too. This is a red star. It holds the power of the red lumas. But the really amazing part about it is it allows you to fly after you spin in mid-air. Yes! Fly! While pressing A, you can pick the direction that you want to fly in with your control stick. And if you collect 100 purple coins, I'll let you use my power somewhere else. Alright guys, so this, this, this is the special thing today. Yes, we have a new power appeal. This is the Red Star, granting us flight and turning us in to flying Mario here. So as you can see right here, we are flying here, and it's pretty simple, all you need to do is grab your control stick with your handy dandy nunchuck, and just spin that white round, baby, right around, and that will allow you to go and fly through the air and control your movement. It's actually really handy dandy, and it's pretty cool. So, yeah. So, as he said, we'll be able to use this uh, once we collect all the purple coins here, and we'll be able to use it outside you know, of the normal using place right teal, then we can actually use it in the Comet Observatory. However, we're going to have to collect all these purple coins here. So, yeah, we have a, we, have, we have quite a bit to collect here. But, however, we have already collected half of them. So, we are doing mighty fine ourselves, actually. So, yeah. Anyways, so this item does go on a time limit, by the way, as you can tell. You can just grab another one if you want to just perpetuate the cycle. That is what I always do. It does not run out because of water or anything, just like uh, other items might. But yeah, that's basically all there is to it. 
allows you to fly and it's really cool and like it makes it look super super handy down the house and it's it's pretty it's pretty neat I should say. But yeah. So yeah that's essentially the flying star or the red star I should say in flying Mario. Also, one more thing. You can ground pound to uh, fall down. You can uh, kind of use a gravitational pull here. So if you just uh, spin like this, see, it'll fly right to you. It's pretty useful. But uh, yeah, so we have 80 of these purple coins here. That were to run out, we might as well grab it again right here. So yeah. Okay, so by the way, the day of I am recording this is the 20th. Yes, it is the 20th of January today. The reason that I haven't been uploading these very much is, well, I've been sick. Like, seriously sick. And the last video that you saw, like, three days ago, probably if you're watching this due to editing, uh, that was eventually recorded on the 6th. But due to a lot of editing and the fact that I'm working on a Nintendo, it's basically full time right now. Uh, it did take a while to edit and, well, you just got it now. Also, I wanted to make a follow-up video as soon as I could. Uh, so, yeah, I didn't want to just upload it then. So, yeah, that's kind of why I haven't been uploading for like the past three weeks. So, yeah, there, there's your answer. Again, I do try to upload as much as I can, and, well, essentially, I, I just had a really bad whooping cough, and I had a fever, so... Yeah, it's not exactly the greatest thing. I uh, am still somewhat sick in that of the fact that I still have my cough. I don't have the horrible fever, but... Yeah. I can... <coughs> <coughs> wow, that... That was timed perfectly. But, uh, yeah, uh, you can see that I kind of, I kind of coughed just a bit, so, <laughs> yeah. Anyways, we only have a few left here. I don't know how I missed these, but apparently I did. And these will be all last ones to collect. So, without further ado, Wise Red Star, as it pulled out the blankets. And you could act and said, I got you! Da -da -da -da. Red Star, number one in the only complete. That's right, guys. This is the only Red Star in the whole game. Yes, they made an entirely new thing just for this one star. That's how special it is, guys. And this is a very special thing because, as you may see here in a second, or after we get our hungry Luma, gosh dang it, we'll be able. To go and grab another red star. <laughs> yes, we can actually get a red stars now in the Comet Observatory. So that's just, it's just wonderful, isn't it? It's just, it's just wonderful. So yeah, you can just go here. Right yeah, it's been a deal. Get a red star. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. But yeah, so as you can see, you can just fly around everywhere. Uh, you can't go too far because then it'll just make you fall. It's not fun. Let's see if it'll do that, yo. Yeah. See, so you don't, can't go too far, and you also can't go to the trial islands. Uh, you know, the three islands up here. Planets, I should say. You know, those, you can't fly over there unless you've unlocked them. Uh, so don't try to do that. But essentially, this whole place is yours. You can just fly around anywhere, as long as you don't crash land into things. You're perfectly fine. So it's, yeah, it's pretty cool. So yeah, if you've been wondering how to get these one-ups that uh, I got by just luck last time. Uh, that's pretty much how you do them. You just, you get this mushroom and you just fly up here. There's also one under the gate, uh, which I'm having trouble getting right now. Um, okay. But, uh, yeah, there's actually another place that you can get your red stars, and that would actually be up here. So, as you can see, okay, excuse me. Yes, you can do that. That'll allow you to get this red star. As this guy is previously in here is like, I have a secret, but I'm not telling. See this red star? You can use it anytime. Yep, yep, that's what mama said. So yeah, essentially now we can use this red star here. And it's pretty cool. So yeah, if you're ever wondering what that red Luma was saying that whole time, well now you know. Now you know. 
Um, okay. So, I'm going on. I'm going to show off one more thing here with the lead stall before we end off and finish this right here. Not finish, not the episode. No, no, no. We still have a few things left to do here. But, we do have another star to collect. But yeah, so as you can see, there's one up on the very top of it. And, you can collect it. Just fall down right here. It's so that's fun. But yeah, so this is actually our next star. But, it's not actually where we're going, no. We actually do have another star to collect today. But this star is going to be here on the gate. And it's going to be this hungry Luma here. Hey, you! Yeah, you! Dang, tasty Starbits! If you feed me a bunch of Starbits, I'll burst with snacky happiness and then transform! I'm famished! I need 1,200 Starbits to cope the hunger pains. So hungry! Yeah, so we have almost, like, the perfect amount right here. We will only have a few... Yeah, we will only have a few left here. 62 to be exact. But yeah. So that's it! I'm stuffed! Here we go! Transform! Oi! Oh my gosh. God, at the same time I said that. Wow, that was... That was disgusting. Wow. Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, so we just unlocked Boo's Boneyard Galaxy here. Which is going to be our second galaxy in which we complete today. So, let's fly and waste the spooky speed store. That is this... Uh, it's a Boo, by the way. It's... It's that boo you saw back in the Ghost of the Galaxy. Same that guy. So yeah, we're just gonna lay some again. It's gonna be, it's gonna be nice and dandy. It's gonna be wonderful, and we're gonna get another star. So how does that sound? It sounds not so fun. Let's, let's do that. Let's let's do that. Let's go inside this guy's head. Let's fall down here. So yeah, all you need to do here is just fall down here, slide down, grab this ghostly mushroom, go inside these walls, fly up. And just dodge to this man. <laughs> so you'll have to do it too? You have to waste me for it. Sure. I love how yes is even an answer. It's just sure. Sure. Beep. 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 Let's go. So yes. All you need to do here is, well, if you guys have ever played Spalkman in, you know, like Mega Man, you know, that game. I don't know. No. You know, that there was this... This level made you fall, you know, because it was all about, it's all about gravity, you know. So, yeah, this, this, this level is basically the same thing. It's all about gravity. It's all about just going down here, yeah, so. Yeah, it's actually pretty simple. Uh, however, uh, you know, it, it will have these things that's shooting at you. It's, as I said before, it's not very tough, as long as you just keep on going down. You know, you won't have that much of a trouble right here. Well, actually, at the very end of this right here. So, yeah. It's very quick. Very easy. Not much to say about it. It's just what you'd expect from a Mario level. Hehehe! <laughs> 48 seconds? Well, promise is a promise, so take this star! <laughs> oh my gosh, my battery. Wow. Okay. Thanks, battery, for reminding me. Gosh dang it. Take it all, gosh dang it! Da 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 da! Boo! Please stop staring at my butt for the second time, my gosh. But yeah, so! You may be thinking to yourself, well, you grabbed your two stars already today, you finished the gate and you finished the spooky speed stall, what else do you have for me? Well, besides, you know, the next episode's going to this final dome, that we're going to be going to, specifically the Golden, I actually do have one more thing to show, and it's not actually a stall, but it is one more thing about, well, uh, about the gate. So yes, as I said before, it's actually the same place that you saw back at the start of the game. And, well, that might sound just pretty, you know, boring, because it's just that first area. Well, if you go into it, now that you collected that first star, you can actually go back to the first star in the game. Yes, you can actually do this. This is not, this is not a joke, people. You can't do this. So, yeah, if you ever wanted to grab that star that you originally got, yes, you can actually do it. You can just grab footage from back then. 
Of course, we have 83 stars, so that is kind of a problem. But you know, you can you can just follow this bunny. You can do the same thing that you do in Oleo. You know, you can try to play hide and seek with these guys. Catch the Lumas, you know, you can meet Rosalina, even though we've already met her and we just talked to her earlier in this episode. Make her really weird. And you can grab the turnip machine's grand star. So yeah. Anyways. That's all I have to show today. So, if you enjoyed this episode, give it a like. If you have anything to say, comment down below. And subscribe if you haven't already. Ring that bell. And I will see you next time on Super Mario Galaxy! I will see you then.